it's Tim from the Lancashire Maths team. Today I'm going to explain how to play addition or multiplication bingo. The first version of the game that I'm going to demonstrate is addition bingo. To play this game you'll need a game board for each player, two dice and a pencil. Player one starts by rolling the two dice. They add the number of dots on the dice together and then write the total anywhere on their game board. Now it's player two's turn. Player two rolls the dice. They add the number of the dots on the dice together and write the number anywhere on their game board. Players continue to take turns rolling the dice and writing the total of the dots in any square on their game board until all the squares on their game boards are filled. Player 1 now rolls the two dice. They add the number of the dots on the dice together and if they have the total anywhere on their game board, they cross it out. Player 2 now rolls the two dice. They add the number of the dots on the dice together. If they have the total anywhere on their game board, they cross that number out. Players continue to take turns rolling the two dice and crossing that total out if they have that number on their game board. The winner is the player who is the first to cross out all their numbers. The next version of the game is Multiplication Bingo. Each player starts the game with a blank game board. They agree on a multiplication table to practice, for example, the five times table. Player one throws the two dice and adds the dots on the dice together. Five and one is six. They multiply the total of the dots by the number of the table that they are practicing. 6 times 5 is 30 and write the answer in any blank square on their game board. Player 2 now throws the two dice and adds the dots on the dice together. 5 and 5 is 10. They multiply the total of the dots by the number of the table that they are practicing. 10 times 5 is 50 and write the answer in any blank square on their game board. Players continue to take turns throwing the dice until all the squares on their game boards have numbers in them. Player 1 now throws the two dice and adds the dots on the dice together. 4 of 3 is 7. They multiply the total of the dots by the number of the table that they are practicing. 7 times 5 is 35. If they have the answer in a square on their game board, they cross out that number. Player 2 now throws the two dice and adds the dots on the dice together. 1 and 6 is 7. They multiply the total of the dots by the number of the table that they are practicing. 7 times 5 is 35. If they have the answer in a square on their game board, they cross that number out. Player 2 doesn't have 35 anywhere on their game board, so they are unable to cross anything out on this turn. Players continue to take turns, crossing numbers out on their game board if they are able to. The winner is the player who is the first to cross out all of their numbers. A more difficult version of the game is decimal tenths multiplication bingo. Let's say that the table being practiced is the seven times table. This version is identical to the previous version except that the total of the dots on the dice becomes that number of decimal tenths. Three and three is six. 6 tenths or 0 0.6. 
the decimal tenths are then multiplied by the table that is being practiced. 0.6 times 7 is 4.2. The number is written anywhere on the grid. Play then continues in the same way as the previous version. The winner is the player who is the first to cross out all their numbers. A final version of the game is decimal hundredths multiplication bingo. Let's say that the table being practiced is the six times table. This version is identical to the previous version, except that the total of the dots on the dice becomes that number of decimal hundredths. Four and one is five. Five hundredths, or 0 0.05. The decimal hundredths are then multiplied by the table that is being practiced. 0 0.05 times 6 is 0 0.30. That number is written anywhere on the player's game board. Play then continues in the same way as the previous version. The winner is the player who is the first to cross out all their numbers. The game boards and the written instructions for playing addition and multiplication bingo are available to download from the home learning section of our website. Also in the written instructions is guidance on deciding which version of the game to play with your child. I hope you have fun playing those games and I'll see you next time.